Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Nafe. Welcome back to my video and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, if you're new here, please do feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, I'm saying this at the beginning of the video because most people don't really stick around till the end. And uh, yeah, so please take in what I'm saying with a grain of salt. But in today's video, I'm going to be explaining something that is important for anyone that is looking to get an AMD graphics card or already has one. And uh, if my AMD drivers will open, thank you. So first off, this video looks really blurry and I'll explain why right now. And it's because it's being recorded in 720p. Why is it being recorded in 720p? Well, it's because simply my graphics card does not support 1080p. And that is about the gist of this whole video. I'm going to explain a little bit deeper down and say a few things that I really, really have been wanting to say as a user with an, with an RX 580 uh, with only four gigabytes of VRAM, keep in mind. I've had this card for about three years now. So I, I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty, pretty knowledgeable on what I'm going to say. I'm not going to say that I'm an almighty guru over here, but I will say that I am pretty knowledgeable on what I'm talking about here. And it's probably because I've had to deal with a lot of these weird random problems that like is very, uh, foreign i guess to some people and um yeah so essentially if you have the amd drivers installed already which by the way if you don't i'll leave the link down in the description below to go get your amd drivers installed yes yeah, so once you have them installed if you whether you have the latest version or not i'm going to be explaining something really quickly so for anyone that has an rx 500 series graphics card as you can see over here on my screen i have an rx 580 with four gig with four gigs of vram so the most stable graphics drivers uh, version for me currently, uh, as the making of this video, is 21.6.1. The latest version is 21.8.2. So if you can get this version installed on your PC, you can more or less have the same stability that I'm having with this graphics card. Uh, I'm not going to say it's perfect. I'm going to say it's doing the job. It's a lot better than the newest one. And... You know, it's funny because the AMD team actually know that the newest one that I can update to or that anyone else with a 500 card can update to is broken. So this is kind of why you never always keep your drivers up to date and you always want to read the patch notes or at least skim through it and try to find, you know, your graphics card in the patch notes. So what I did over here was, you know, it opens up to this page. This is the page that it's opening up to, as you can see here, 21.8.2. So what I did was I highlighted everything, right? Control F, and then I go RX space 500. And it highlights one of two things. This first thing here is the thing, is surprisingly the thing that I'm actually looking for. So it says, drivers, timeouts may be experienced while playing games and streaming a video simultaneously on some AMD uh, graphics products such as the RX, the as the Radeon RX 500 series graphics. So pretty much what that means is if you're streaming and you're playing a game uh, simultaneously, so you are streaming to Twitch, streaming to YouTube, streaming on Discord, you may experience your drivers, this window right here, well, this window right here, to just break. That's what I'm getting out of this. And it's that this will break and if this is what they mean then that means i've already experienced this where i was playing and i was recording i wasn't streaming i was recording i was still using the encoder and this drivers just closed and it refused to open i actually had to use amd's like sort of built-in ddu type of deal to uninstall it and then reinstall but the thing is is I had the update of this. I had this update. And what I did was, instead of just reinstalling it normally, I just went into the, the log files to install an older version. Because AMD keeps a log uh, of their older drivers, and my guess is because of this problem. Where people will have drivers that just don't work properly. And this is a commonly known, this is a well-known issue with AMD drivers just not to work and it's very sad that this is actually a common thing because you know you're 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 selling graphics cards at, at people that are just consumers and some people don't even know what's going on 
and then one day they just open their PCs and you know it's not your problem because they bought it and it's like okay like really you really just gonna you know not fix these things right away but I don't know I guess it's maybe because the RX 500 series is such an old series that they don't really care about it but let's be honest here most people still only have the 500 series because you know, the other graphics cards have sold out already. Or maybe some most people have the 5500 series. I wouldn't know. But I know for sure that I have a 500 series. And I know that this stuff has broken down many times. In daily use. In personal use of my time as someone trying to record videos. So, I mean, literally, this is the second take of this video. Not because I wasn't satisfied, satisfied with what I was saying. But rather, my computer just blue screened out of the blue. Out of the blue. Quite literally, out of the blue. I'm probably never going to update the drivers until the patch notes say something positive about the 500 and doesn't say anything really negative about the 500 series graphics cards. So that's that. So the other thing I wanted to talk about is why I'm recording this video in 720p. What I meant by my computer not being able to handle this in 720p is uh, that first off, the RX 500 series graphics card is barely able to play games in 1080p, which is like, okay, yeah, but those are games. Those are relatively demanding. But at the same time, not a lot of people understand that recording, especially at higher bit rates, anything higher than 40,000 bit rate, becomes pretty demanding of your graphics card. For example, my graphics card just recording alone uses about 20% of my graphics power. And as you can see right here, let me just, OBS is currently using 23% of my graphics. Um, so it's like, okay, yeah, it's only 23%. That's not a lot. If you don't realize, most games will use between 80, I want to say between 50 and like 90% of your graphics card. And for something like a 580, especially this one, the four gigabytes, I can say 100 with 100% certainty that even games like Battlefield that are really optimized will stutter and will break down because of the graphics card when it's recording. It'll just break, you know, like this card is just not meant for recording. And I get that. It's like trying to use a um stock city car as a race car you can't do that you can't just take a regular car and throw it into a racetrack and call it a day now amd's fix for this is literally there is none let's just get a better graphics card i mean there's nothing else that you can do about this so if you're like me and you're in the same boat you'd probably have to scale down to 720p because if your graphics card can barely play games at 1080p how are you expecting it to record at 1080p while you're playing a 1080p game, you know? You think about it like that. How can it do both if you can't even do one? Yes, you could play it. Yes, I could record this video that I'm recording right now in 1080p, but the thing is, is that it crashed at 720p. And my current bitrate is pretty much the same on Streamlabs. I don't even use Streamlabs anymore. Um, the bitrate's the same. If you go to recording, yeah, it's around this, around 60,000 bitrate. 60 to 70,000 bit rate, somewhere always in between. Um, no matter if I'm doing 10 or 1080p or uh, 720. It's, it's very annoying. It's, I mean, like even me playing pro settings in CSGO and stuff like that, like CSGO is quote unquote, quote unquote, a CPU intensive game, but it's only a CPU intensive game when you have a decent graphics card or a graphics card that doesn't crash for no reason. RX 500 series have problems with cooling, like really bad problems with cooling. And also with noise, but that's just because 100% of the graphics power is being used more than half the time. So that's something to keep in mind about if you want to try to record, stream, or even play games with the same video card in a single PC setup. Which is kind of the reason why I don't record and I don't stream like as crazy as I want to. And it's because of this problem. This card is just not meant for this. And I fully understand it, but, you know, I want to do this stuff, and I can't. But, I mean, that's the stuff, I have to, that's the kind of thing I have to live with. But, if you have the choice of choosing um, AMD or NVIDIA, I will say that if you want to stream and record and, you know, play games at the same time, you should go with, the, you should go with NVIDIA half the time. 1660 and anything higher than a 1660 you will be able to use NVENC new. NVENC is their encoder. It's the encoder that you always see the most, and it's also clearer. It's a lot clearer than AMD's 
BS encoder that doesn't make any sense at all. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's going to do it for this video. If you need any other help, like uh, utilization of your graphics card, it's always 70% and higher. I have another video for that. And uh, yeah, so anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. My name's Dave. Peace out.